masks. Maybe you've wondered if masks work. You know the debate, right? Should you wear a face covering? And that largely depends on who you ask. Or does it? We'll see. A team of BYU researchers did a deep dive into the data, and they've laid out the facts for everyone to see. Fox 13's Tamara Vaifanua takes a look at their findings. The debate over masks and whether or not they reduce the spread of COVID-19 kept a team of BYU researchers up all weekend to study that very issue. This room is not complying with these health guidelines. This creates a health concern. To mask up or not. At a Utah County Commission meeting last week, the battle lines were drawn. And I'm going to make a motion to continue this entire meeting to another date. The display prompted Ben Abbott, an associate professor of plant and wildlife sciences at Brigham Young University, and his colleagues to dig for answers. This really was motivated by the fact we're lifelong Utah County residents. We want to make sure that families and individuals have the, the best uh, possible information. Abbott says they looked at 130 peer review studies from around the world. One of the most definitive studies found that if 80% of the population wore masks, that is actually more effective than a complete shutdown of the economy where you're forcing everybody to stay at home. Researchers also learned that because COVID-19 is spread mainly on droplets produced when we breathe, cough, or sneeze, masks are effective at trapping those particles. The, the idea is, uh, is that your mask protects me and my mask protects you. What about people's concerns about masks reducing oxygen levels or increasing carbon dioxide levels? That is completely false. There's a really uh, wide uh, group of research that's been done long before the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that shows that masks are incredibly safe. Abbott says there are exceptions, those with severely weakened respiratory systems, children under the age of two, and severely disabled should not wear masks. He adds with more information coming in, we're learning more. The scientific messaging on masks was kind of a mess. From the CDC to the World Health Organization, there was a lot of confusion about, about masks initially. So I don't think that people that have been skeptical of masks in the past are bad at all. Uh, they just haven't had access to this new information that shows how effective masks are at protecting our families. To take a look at the entire study, just go to fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, Tamara Vaifanua, Fox 13 News, Utah.